We said that the, the goal of a Markov decision process model is to maximize the expected total reward. Because this problem has to be solved now, uh, but uh, rewards will be obtained in the future, uh, this problem is solved in terms of a policy that gives a rule uh, of what action should be taken in any uh, possible state of the world. But how can we quantitatively uh, uh, compare different possible policies for the same MDP problem? We simply compute the expected total reward, uh, the same quantity that we want to maximize, but with one important addition. Namely, in this calculation, we condition on the current state of the system, ST. This is done in recognition of the fact that we can get different uh, total rewards if we start uh, with different initial states of the system. Such conditional expectation of the total cumulative reward is called the value function. For each possible state ST, the value function gives us the value of the state for our ultimate task of maximizing the total reward using policy pi. Uh, the state st is therefore an argument of the value function. In addition, uh, the value function v has an upper script pi to emphasize its dependence uh, on the policy choosing to accumulate rewards. Finally, it has a lower index uh, that specifies the time uh, at which the system has the state vector uh, s. We use a discrete notation for time as we work in discrete time uh, with Markov decision processes. And uh, therefore, in this formula, we show the value function defined for uh, time zero uh, by using the lower index uh, of zero here. Next, uh, let's see how we can uh, evaluate this expression. Let's uh, separate the first term from the sum and write it uh, as the first term uh, 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 plus a, a similar sum, but uh, starting with the uh, second term uh, in the original sum. Next, uh, we replace the expectation of the sum with the sum of expectations. Now, the first term is just the reward uh, from the current step. Uh, but the second term uh, is the expectation of the same value function at the next uh, time moment, uh, when it will have some other state as prime as its argument multiplied uh, by uh, the discount uh, factor gamma. We can now replace uh, the uh, expectation sign in this term by an explicit sum that involves probabilities of transitions to all possible next states from the current state. And this produces a recursive relation for the value function that is called the Bellman equation. It was proposed in the uh, 1950s by Richard Bellman uh, in the context of uh, his pioneering work on dynamic programming. We will encounter uh, a few other equations uh, a bit later that also carry the name of Bellman, so it will be important to understand the differences between them. Now, a slightly more general version of the same Bellman equation uh, that I just presented uh, refers to the case when the reward R depends on the next state. All that is needed uh, for such cases is to put the reward inside the expectation so that the Bellman equation takes the form shown here. Now, uh, a special case uh, arises when a Markov decision process um, is such that uh, time does not uh, appear in it as an independent variable. That means that uh, for such MDP, uh, transition probabilities and reward uh, cannot explicitly depend on time. And the final time t uh, is infinite in the problem. So uh, there is an infinite sum in the definition uh, of the value function. In such case, the value function will also be independent on time, and therefore we can drop the time index from it in these cases. The Bellman equation for such case becomes a simply a system of linear equations, one equation for each possible state st. So if our discrete set of states uh, has n states, we will have n such linear equations. If transition probabilities are known, we can easily solve this linear system using methods of linear algebra. Next, we introduce an optimal value function uh, called v star. 
uh, the optimal value function for a state is simply the highest value function for this state among all possible policies. So the optimal value function is attained for some optimal policy that we will call P star. The important point here is that uh, an optimal policy P star is optimal for all states of the system. This means that uh, V star should be larger or equal than V uh, with any other policy uh, and for any state S. Now we can express the optimal value function in terms of itself similarly to how we derive the Bellman equation for a value function with a fixed uh, given policy pi. Formally, it can be done by simply applying the max operator uh, to both sides of the Bellman equation. Then in the left-hand side, we will uh, have V star by definition, while in the right-hand side, we will have uh, the same optimal uh, value function at the later time. But in addition to replacing V by V star in the right hand side, uh, we also have to make sure that uh, the current action at time t is also optimal. Uh, this expresses the famous uh, Bellman's principle of optimality, uh, which states that uh, optimal uh, cumulative rewards should be obtained by taking an optimal action now and following an optimal policy later. Therefore, by following this principle, uh, we obtain the Bellman optimality equation for V star shown in this slide. Uh, now, uh, because of uh, the max operator standing in the right hand side, uh, this is now a nonlinear equation that usually needs to be solved numerically. In the next video, we will talk about simple numerical algorithms that can be used to this end. Uh, but before that, uh, let's discuss how we can find the optimal policy uh, if we already know uh, the optimal value function. This part is easy. Uh, the second term in the Bellman optimality equation involves taking a maximum uh, among all possible uh, choices uh, of the action at time t of this term. Uh, but this operation is exactly uh, what should be described by uh, the optimal policy itself. And this gives us the way to find the optimal policy for a given state and time uh, as the choice of action uh, for this uh, state and time uh, that gives a maximum to the second term in the Bellman optimality equation. So let's take a quick look at uh, 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 questions uh, for this video and uh, move on uh, to methods to solve the Bellman optimality equation in the next video.